are destroyed, but of those who believe and are saved. Father, we ask that in this, you would give us an understanding and a strength, not of our own, not by our might, not by our power, but by your Spirit, that we might go in with a willingness to speak your word, not to anger people, not to frustrate people, not to hurt people. But that we would be among those who are wise and who are innocent and gentle and who care deeply for the lost. But who are bold. Bold enough to speak the truth even if people insult us and persecute us. That your glory would be revealed. The Lord, to say we offer you our life. Your message will be proclaimed through our lips to a world who needs to stand and speak. 
But this is the message of the cross. As believers, may we join together, embracing one another, loving each other deeply, because the world will not. That we might go out with boldness to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ. The kingdom of heaven is near. Repent. And may that draw people. Knowing that, yes, there will be persecution. But greater is He who is in us than He who is in the world. If you are here this morning and you are not yet a Christian, and you're thinking, what in the world is this place all about? We want to welcome you. We want to let you know that there is joy and hope and forgiveness and life and peace in Jesus Christ. But we also want to let you know it will cost you everything. Because He has given everything. And anything less is not worthy of our God. And we welcome you to join in the work of the kingdom and the glory of God as a family of believers. Father, I ask that we as a people would offer our lives to Everything we have, everything we've been through, and everything that we will go through, we offer to You. Because it's really not us being persecuted, it is ultimately You. And we are simply Your servants, Your slaves, doing our duty. God, give us Your boldness to proclaim, like John the Baptist, even to the beheading, that Jesus Christ is the Lord and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Come back next week. We'll take a break from this series and rejoice in the coming of the kingdom.